Hey friends, this video is for our second through fourth grade team for June week one. And we have some big changes coming to our second through fourth grade team for the summer and maybe continuing on depending on how it goes. So stay tuned for that. So this whole month we are talking about making ways. What you do today can change the world around you. And our memory verse. Let's see if I can remember it. It's a, lot, it's a big one, but it's our memory verse for the whole summer. So here's what it says. The fruit, of the, whole, the fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient. Can you see my hands are like crossed down here? Patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful, gentle, and having control of oneself. Galatians 22 and 23. So the fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful and gentle and having control of oneself. It's a long one, but it's the whole summer. So this summer, we are learning that we are created in God's image, and God sent Jesus to show us the best way to be human. But God knew that we'd need help, and that's why he sent his Holy Spirit. And with the power of the Spirit, we can produce fruit that points others to Jesus. So all summer long, we're going to be learning about the fruit of the Spirit, which is what our memory verse is. So week one, we are starting out our month in 1 John 4, 9. And John tells us exactly what real love looks like. God loved us enough to send Jesus to offer his life and make us complete. John goes on to say, dear friends, since God loved us this much, we should also love one another. Love is at the heart of God's plan for the world. We are close to the heart of Jesus when we show love to others. So our bottom line, love others because God loves you. God gave us the ultimate example of love when God sent Jesus to live a perfect life and die on the cross to make it possible for us to have a forever relationship with God. And kids will discover how God's love can motivate us to show love to others. So we are talking about love this week. And we will continue talking about the rest of them all summer long. So we'd love for you to join us in the garage room at 820 and 1020 for coffee and donuts and prayer. And then just make sure that you are to your small group room by 8.30 and 10.30. I'm gonna give you a little tour really quick to show you what's different. So all of our incoming second graders are going to be in this second room down. It says entering second grade. And you've got your little chart over there and I'm gonna set this room up just like the other rooms also, okay? Then the yellow room is gonna be kids entering third grade. The purple room is kids entering fourth grade. Here are all the carts. You can see they all look the exact same. So I'm gonna show you what the setup is gonna look like. Each room is going to have two L-shaped tables with some chairs, and then each one of those tables is going to have a rug. So we're gonna have the boy groups meet at the back, and the girl groups meet at the front, and each table will have their little small group cart right in the middle. What I'm gonna ask you guys to please do is to set up the cart First service, make sure it's reset like this before you leave for second service. And second service, if you could reset it, just it makes it easier for me to prep the next week, that would be great. So in here, you have an action Bible and your leader guide. You have your prayer journal, pens, Bibles. On the second shelf down, you have crayons, markers, blue stick, scissors. And the third shelf down is any supplies that you will need for the week. So each folder is customized for your grade. We're gonna talk about why in just a second. You have your own little schedule right in the front. So the first thing that everyone is doing, the welcome activity when kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40 is categories. You're gonna give them a category and they're gonna think of something in their head but they're not gonna say it out loud and on the count of three, everybody's gonna say their answer at the same time. So the first one might be like something they like to eat for breakfast and it gives you a whole bunch of other categories. Also, I will have on your carts, as kids come in, you can put the coloring supplies out on the table and they can just color this page if they would like to as they come in and then they can take this home and it's some little devotionals for the week. And I'll kind of talk about that again later. So that's the first little interactivity. Then when service starts at nine and 11, everyone is doing the same interactivity at nine o'clock. Um, this is the domino effect and it's the second one. I labeled it here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, I have enough for each small group to make two teams. So you're gonna make two teams in your small group. So the girls will have two teams, the boys will have two teams at their table. And first you're gonna show kids how to do dominoes. So down in the bottom of your cart, I've got 20 dominoes in each bin. So two sets of 10. 
show them like that they have to be about an inch apart and kind of help let them like goof around with them for a minute. And then what you're going to do is you're going to read these verses that are in back behind your schedule. And these are the verses that we're learning about the whole day, talking about love. And they're going to put their dominoes in a pile. And every time you say the word love, they're going to stack one domino. And by the time you're done reading this, they'll have like eight or nine dominoes in a row. And then they can knock them all down. And then you're just going to close it by saying, when you choose to love others because God loves you, it can really make a difference. And kind of closing that down. Then you will go across the hall to large group just like normal. Large group is going to be a little shorter though. Because after large group, we are going to have three stations. And each um grade has kind of a different way so that's why you have a personalized schedule this is second grade schedule so after large group second grade you're going to come back to the yellow room well oh this this would be the third grade room but you're going to go to the yellow room and you're going to have a snack time for 10 maybe maybe more like eight ish minutes and we're going to try to get um some a special video each week on there while they're eating snack i'm not sure if we'll have that this week but i will let you know so they're going to have a snack all the snacks are down there. There's paper towels, there's hand sanitizer, um, and just make sure that they throw their trash away when they're done with their snack and kind of wipe down the table. There's spray over there and paper towels, wipe down the tables when they're done eating their snack. Um, if, if you want to, you can go out and let them have a little drink break too. Okay, then the second station for second grade, so everyone will have a snack rotation. It'll last about eight minutes. We're gonna try to kind of these first few weeks have a director telling you when to switch. The next station is, I'm gonna take this with me, is in the purple room and it is the Love Moves Experiment. So you're gonna walk your whole second grade group. I have a mess out here right now. Down to this room and this room will be set up during large group, we'll set this up to look like this. So each set of tables will have five experiment stations. So girls, you'll come to the first set of tables, Boys, you'll come to the back set of tables, and I'm gonna show you how this experiment works. Each kid is gonna get two hearts, and so you can have a couple kids doing this at the same time. And they're gonna put their first heart in, their first heart is just plain, and they'll set it down, and it's not gonna move, okay? The second heart, you're gonna have a cup of dish soap, and they're gonna put a little bit of dish soap on a Q-tip, and then they're just gonna put a little bit and you can kind of have them do this all together. You can say, okay, everybody put in one heart. So them and a partner would put in one heart and say, does the heart move? No, it's not really moving. Okay, now take your second heart and put a little bit of dish soap on the end of it. And then they're gonna put their heart in the water. And then they're in, the heart should move because it's got some soap on it. And them and their partner should do that at the same time. And then they can put um, empty Q-tips and the little cup in between, and we'll just throw all those away. Okay, so see the one with dish soap is just swirling all around. And so you're gonna close this down by saying, do you guys see how that one moves? The one with the soap made the hearts move. So without knowing and experiencing God's love, it's hard to show love. It can be easy to love people who love us, but what about people who aren't really easily lovable or who are rude to us? Without knowing God's love, it's kind of like the heart without soap. But once we experience God's love and the gift of Jesus, we can love even the hardest people to love. God loves those people no matter what they do, and we can love like that too. So let's think of some people who might be hard in your life to love. Give kids a few minutes. Girl leaders, you're saying this part with just the girls. Boy leaders, you're saying this part with just the boys. See if they can come up with any people that are hard to love. Does God love those people? And knowing God loves them, no matter what, is it easier or harder for us to love them? And then make it personal. Share a kid appropriate time about when you loved someone that wasn't very lovable and how God, having God with you, like the dish soap, kind of helped your heart to move to love that person. Okay? So that is the purple room experiment on here. When it says love moves experiment, that's that. Then the last station, which what did I do with my folder? The last station is in the garage room and it is gonna be your memory verse station. So I'm going to, and again, this is all in here. So you've got snack and not in here, because that's just snack. There's the purple room one. And then the garage room one is just a little relay game. So, excuse my mess, I'm redoing all the carts. You're gonna come into the garage door room. And I've got this little relay, relay game set up at the back. There's blue team and a green team. So you can have boys versus girls. You can mix the two up and kind of, you know, even the teams out so there's the same amount of kids. 
And each um, small group that comes in here, so we've got one set of memory verse cards for each small group for each service. So if I'm the second grade girls, I'm gonna take one stack of these and I'm gonna put them in this bucket face down. And this is the green team. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start your kids down here and they'll all line up and the first kid has two green lily pads. So they can only use the green lily pads so they have to go and pick it up. Then they have to put it in front of them and step and then go and pick this one up and then go in front of them and step and then pick the next one up. They have to use their green ones to get all the way down. They pick up one piece of their memory verse and then they can pick up their lily pads and run back and hand them to the next person. If you want to make it harder, they can use the lily pads to go back, depending on how much time you have. Then once their team gets all the pieces of their memory verse, they're going to put them together as a team. The first team to put them together wins. And so like I said, once your group is done to set up for the next group, you can just take all your cards and throw them in the trash because the next group will have their own set of cards. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Sorry, I'm setting this down for a second. I know this video is a little longer than normal. Sorry. Um, and so before you do that, when you come into the garage room, you can practice the memory verse with the kids. You can look up the memory verse in the Bible. Um, you can wheel your whole cart with you. That way you have your Bible and you can practice looking it up. I should have said that before I played the game. So practice looking up your memory verse. Say it together a few times with the motions. Then play the game and just say, when we decide to follow Jesus and believe that he died for us and then he was raised from the dead, our whole lives change. And Jesus promised to give those who follow him the power of the Holy Spirit. And one way people can know we're followers of Jesus is to show them the fruit of the Spirit. And those are the things that are, you can say, what are some things that grow on trees? Those are all good answers, but a healthy tree produces things like fruit, leaves, flowers, nuts, things like that. If a tree is dead, what does it look like? It's bare. It withers up, right? When we follow Jesus and have the Holy Spirit leading us and guiding us, we grow things in our life just like the tree does. And so that is their memory verse game. So then the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to go back to your original small group room. And you're going to sit together on the carpet. And you've got your, every group is going to have a little prayer journal. And it says your grade and your kids on it. And you're going to open it up each week and you can put the date at the top and write out the kids' prayer requests, and then just practice praying with them. So in your leader guide, the prayer for this week talks about, um, oh, sorry, you're, we don't have boats. So it just says, you know, here's kind of a little prayer you can pray and just remind them. Our bottom line for the day is love others because God loves you. And then go over prayer requests and pray with the kids sitting on your carpet in the circle. And then this week, we've got a little packet that we're going to send home with kids. I will have these all paper clipped together, but I would love for you to write each kid's name on their parent cue card at the top of their packet. They get their parent cue card to take home. Then they're going to have this. This is going to have four stickers stapled onto it. And you can tell the kids their goal is to hang this on their fridge and say their memory verse once a week for the whole month of June. And every week that they say their memory verse, they add a sticker onto it. So this is kind of a little memory verse challenge for them. And then finally, we are starting our Books of the Bible Challenge for the summer. So this has all the books of the Bible. On the back, it tells them if they can go to the store and say their books of the Bible, they get 21 tickets. If they scan this with their parents' phone, it will pull up a song to help teach them the books of the Bible. And they can kind of learn them as they go. And so those are all going to be paper clipped together. Go over them with your kiddos when you're sitting in your small group after you pray before their parents come. And you can also add in um, this devotional page that they colored at the beginning to the back of their pile in the paper clip. So that's why if you can set these out um, kind of while they're doing an intro, while they're coloring at the very beginning and kind of write each kid's name on it as they come in. That way each kid takes home one of these every week. It's super important as we're partnering with parents. So hopefully that makes sense. Each grade level is doing a different little rotation schedule. When you go in each room, you'll have stuff to do. We still have our birthdays on the board. These are all of our third graders. I'm excited to try it out. Sorry this video was super long as I kind of explained that. I hope it all works on Sunday. I will be here. We'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I love you all so much. I'm so excited for this summer. I'm excited to try some new things, and I'll see you guys on Sunday.